So this is what you guys have been waiting for. Sorry it took a while, but here is the Galaxy Z Fold 3 versus the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's find out. All right, Z Fold 3 Note 20 Ultra. That is the decision some people are trying to make right now. And my first Z Fold video, there were a lot of comments about, this is not a note, this may be a note, all that kind of fun stuff. But anyway, before you start doing anything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification icon to get notified with our latest video. And we also wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Narwhal, with the new Narwhal T10 robot vacuum, which we'll talk more about later in the video. So these are very unique devices because this is the very first time within a foldable that has an S Pen support. And also this is the very first year where there is no new Galaxy Note. Yes, Samsung had to make a tight decision between which of the two devices to definitely pick up uh, for this year, uh, for the second half of the year. And they went with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, a lot of Note users have said, oh my God, like, I want my notes. Is this better? Is this not? And we're here to find out why, right? So let's take a look at each device, starting with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which we know and love. It's that lovely rectangle slab, 6.9 inches, 120 hertz display. We have Lamillion wallpaper on here, so wallpaper fans, use the link down below. And it looks really nice. It's a light device, single slab, and uh, in terms of camera housing, we've got the 108 megapixel behind, well, last year's model, um, and uh, the S Pen. Now, the S Pen is housed underneath or inside the device, actually, to be precise. And this is something that's been very traditional with the Galaxy Note series. And it brings a lot of functionality. Now, let's quickly move over to our Z Fold 3. Z Fold 3 is, of course, the success in the Z Fold line. It is slimmer and lighter than the Z Fold 2 from last year. Now, we do have 220 hertz displays with the LTPO display on the cover display, as well as also within the internal display, which is fantastic. Now, this year, we also have the S Pen support which will only work with the internal display and not the cover display. But here you have two very distinct different scenarios. 6.9 inches on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, while the cover display only gives you 6.2 inches. So it feels a little awkward to some. And my buddy SuperSaf says that, look, it, it's harder to type. I kind of agree and disagree. Honestly, I'm the worst person to say this because I misspell all the time while sending messages. Daniel is nodding his head over there, which is very true. But I will say the keyboard is still comfortable enough and I do wish it was wider, uh, similar to what Huawei has done with the Mate X2. But that being said though, you open it up and you get this 7.6 inch canvas. It is a massive canvas to play with and it helps give you just a lot more room to navigate. I think that is very, very important for a lot of people who want to do more with this device. Now, in terms of functionality though, what's the difference? Now, speaking of functionality though, let's go ahead and talk about our sponsor of this video, now. So the T10 is an awesome robot vacuum because not only does it vacuum, it also mops. Yes, this little bad boy is a mop as well. I love it. Now, another cool feature about the Narwhal T10 is that it's got some pretty quiet rotors that pick up dust and dirt very effectively, uh, whether it's on hardwood or on carpets. And it does a really good job at, of course, going around nooks and crannies and avoiding obstacles because it's got obstacle avoidance, uh, which you see here going around this bean bag, but it also has LiDAR built in. So it maps around the whole living area that you have, as you can see here on the Z Fold 3 in the cover of the spray or internal display. Now, once you're done with this, you can go ahead, of course, and empty, of course, the trash. It's a very simple process. But if you want to switch it over and start mopping, all you have to do is go ahead and change the rotors. A simple process again, just pop that open and switch it over to the mop rotors, uh, which are just two simple pads. You can just basically attach them with, you know, clip-ons, add some detergents, uh, put, the, put the bucket in, 
make sure your mop is, is fueled and it's ready to go. Now this bad boy is gonna start mopping my floors. I love it, it is great. Just watch it go. Oh, it makes my life so much easy. Honestly guys, definitely check it out. Use the link down below so you can get some nice clean floors and you don't have to do it. Okay, so that functionality. The S Pen is one of the biggest things that on both devices bring a very unique level of functionality. We know how well it works, how it's been great on the Note, and the Note really has carried that year after year. Now, there is S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold 3, uh, and it gives you a lot of that functionality, being able to write, being able to uh, you know, use all the different S Pen features, but not fully all features. So for instance, if you go into the S Pen settings for both devices, you can see that the air commands uh, are missing and you need the S Pen Pro, which is an additional purchase, as opposed to on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra where the S Pen is included inside. But that doesn't limit what the functionality of the Z Fold 3 can do. Now, Z Fold 3 has a larger screen uh, expanse, so which gives you a different level of multitasking. Yes, you do have split-screen multitasking on your uh, Note 20 Ultra, which is pretty cool, and you can put things in a pop-up view. But with the Z Fold 3, you can do a split-screen pop-up view, we can rotate that screen, but what I really like about it is being able to use two things at the same time functionally. Now, what I mean by that is, I can play Call of Duty Mobile at the very bottom of my screen and have a video playing at the top. I cannot do that on any other device. Yes, I can have that playing, it's just not going to be the right resolution or size and it's just going to be uh, kind of off. Again, that is of course using that internal display. You do have the ability to also move from one display to another, so from the internal display to the cover display on the Z Fold 3. That's now level of functionality. It just allows you to do much more depending on what your use case scenario is. Now, I do feel though that the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra just feels a little bit better and finer. And I do like the fact that it's internally housed within the device, as opposed to, of course, getting uh, the S Pen separately for the Z Fold 3. Which brings me quickly to the S Pen case for the Z Fold 3, the one from Samsung. Now, I do like the fact that there's a case like this and it has, it's a very simple, easy case to use, but in the words of Daniel, this case is somewhat trash. Yes, the reason I say that is because it feels like it should fully work, but one of the things is missing, it doesn't have a magnet on that cover uh, flap, so it doesn't actually stick when you're using it. So it keeps flapping up and down, uh, and I do like the housing of the S Pen on the side, and which you can remove and detach if you want to, but because it flaps around, that's something that it can be annoying, and when you open it up, it actually just kind of is longer than what the screen is. So it can be uncomfortable to use. It's still nice. I'm hoping to see what third parties do. But again, this brings the point that you actually have to get an extra accessory for you to comfortably use the S Pen, being the S Pen itself or a case that goes with the S Pen. So now you're saying, hmm, Thunder E. Well, it looks like the notes is better. Mm let's hold up a bit, right? I did mention some of that multi-functionality you do have with this device, the Z Fold, right? As I mentioned, being able to game and watch videos at the same time, you can't do it anywhere, right? Um, but you also have a couple of things you can do with the camera. And this is where it becomes very, very interesting. Now, some of the camera features I do like is being used, be able to use the rear display on the Z Fold 3 to take selfies. It is a great thing to do, I like it. It allows me to take better selfies than I would on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So that's great, which means I have an option of three cameras to take selfies as opposed to just one camera on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now, they both have solid front-facing cameras for selfies. You have, of course, the one on the Note 20 Ultra and you have the one on the cover display. Now, there is an internal camera uh, within that 7.6 inch display, which is under the under the screen itself, which is great for when you're gaming because it really covers up uh, uh, that whole punch and everything looks really nice. But the quality, yes, is really low and it's meant for uh, Zoom calls. Now, some people may not like this and hope, wish that it was better or Samsung just didn't do that. I'm fine with it because I'd rather have the better image quality. So I'd rather use the rear camera or I'd rather use the cover display uh, camera for taking selfies. I don't need to open up that display to actually do that. So 
that part is there. Now, when it comes to the images though, comparison, I was a bit shocked. <laughs> you know why? The Note 20 Ultra has a 108 megapixel camera for its main sensor, while you know the Z Fold 3 has triple 12 megapixel cameras. So theoretically, the Note 20 Ultra should have the better image. Actually, no. I think both images, especially in daytime, looked really good, very solid, and the Z Fold 3 held up pretty well. When it came to nighttime energy images, I slightly prefer the Z Fold 3. Uh, I think they looked much better. I think uh, they were a little bit tighter. Maybe it's just the software algorithm again, or maybe compared to what we have with the one age uh, megapixel camera from Samsung from last year, the Z Fold 3 just to me looked better. And in terms of video, both videos really look solid. Now, the one caveat you would have with the Note 20 Ultra is that it shoots with the rear cameras up to 8K 24 frames per second, while the uh, Z Fold 3 does not. Now, is that a big issue? To me, no, because I never used the 8K last year from Samsung on the Note 20 Ultra, and also the quality was not that great. It was really cropped in, and for me, I'd rather have a solid 4K 60 experience, which both of them do, than pushing something like 8K 24 so. And for me, I think you really have a solid camera experience from both the Z Fold 3 and the Note. And now we have the point we all love, which is gaming. Both devices can game really well with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra running the Snapdragon 865 Plus, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and the Z Fold 3 running the Snapdragon 888 or 888, of course, 12 gigabytes of RAM. Now, with my gaming experience with both devices, I have to tell you, I love the gaming experience on the Z Fold 3. The fact that I can start with the external display and again, it's sized really well and move into the internal display is absolutely fantastic. And I can go vice versa, depending on the game. Some games just won't necessarily work. But what I do like about it is that with that internal display, 7.6 7 inches, I have a lot of real estate to game as opposed to what I have with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So that is the very first thing. The very next thing, of course, is performance. Now, with a lot of games, it performs really well. And that's, for both of them, that's, that's the true case. But Genshin Impact did much better, at least for my performance, on the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 3 because it has a AAA processor and that handles Genshin at 60 FPS much better than the 865 Plus. So for gamers, that is really important. And I think that makes a whole lot of difference. Now, it is easier for me to use a controller like the Razer Kishi on the Note 20 Ultra because that works with a traditional smartphone experience. Uh, but that screen real estate on the Z Fold 3 allows me to do much more. So even if I take, say, my Xbox controller and I'm playing things like Xbox Game Pass on the Z Fold 3 or even Stadia, I am getting an experience that feels more like me gaming on a larger display that I truly like. Plus, I have better performance overall. Now, speaking of performance, battery life is something that's really important. Both devices have very close uh, battery sizes. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 is a 4,400 milliamp battery. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a 4,500 milliamp battery. Now, what's your guess? Who has a better battery life? Some of you would say, hmm, it must be the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Slightly bigger battery, and also doesn't have two displays. But my experience is the Z Fold 3. And you're going, ah, what? Yeah. So, while I used the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra last year, one of the things I had to do was put my device into power saving mode all the time. So which cut it down, dropped, it, dropped things down to 60, uh, uh, 60 hertz. And that was because I believe it didn't have the LTPO display. And we do have that with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Also, one thing everybody should note is that you're not running two displays at the same time. You can't, it never does. If it's closed, you're running the external display, which is smaller. If it's open, you're running the internal display. Granted, it's larger. Again, it's still a more efficient display overall. And even though it's 4,400 milliamps versus 4,500, it's really small difference there, but I've got a much better experience so far with my Z Fold 3 than I had with my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So take it what you will, I feel like the Z Fold 3 brings a better battery experience, at least from my use case 
overall. Okay, and of course we've got stereo speakers on both devices, but it's a louder, cleaner experience on the Z Fold 3. Now, the Z Fold 3 has two bottom firing speakers, and those are the louder speakers on any smartphone. So with your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, you have a bottom firing speaker, and then you have a top slit. While well, you have two bottom firing speakers on the Z Fold 3, give me a much louder, cleaner experience and something that you guys should go listen in my gaming video. You'll see how well it functions there. So I think overall, this brings a very interesting dilemma as we look at these devices for a one-to-one -one ratio, right? Like in terms of overall performance, I really like what the Z Fold 3 brings to the table. I like the multi-facet nature of the device. I love the two displays. And I think there's still things that it should and can be improved. While the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra brings that clean simplicity of a standard smartphone with the S Pen. Now the S Pen is, is available for the Z Fold 3, but it's something that has to be added with an additional cost. So the question is, who wins this battle, but well, which should you buy? Actually, those are two questions, by the way, right? So for me, I say the Z Fold 3 is a better device than the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But really, who wins this battle might be the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And that might come down to the costs. The Note 20 Ultra right now, I don't know, maybe... Uh, <laughs> so the Note 20 Ultra comes in at a price of $749 currently right now at Samsung, while the Z Fold 3 is an $1,800 device. Granted, you can get uh, uh, it for less than that with trading up to $1,000. So depending on what you're doing, they're almost the same in price. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> the question is, as a Note user, is it worth it to actually switch over? I think that choice is left up to you. If you really want more functionality and want to experience the joy of a foldable, then yeah, go ahead and do it. If you own, say, the original Fold or even the Fold 2, I think it's a worthy jump. If you're a Note user, you want to be strict with your Note and you really like that traditional feel, then maybe wait. Honestly, I, I know you guys are probably disappointed I'm not answering this question well for you, but I truly like both of them and they offer a very unique experience from each other. I do want to see the Z Fold series continue and improve and be maybe thinner, uh, maybe wider for the cover display and maybe less of a crease internally so that that S Pen works internally and externally as well. But I think this choice is up to you. So if you guys have any questions, or any comments, let me know and definitely use the links down below to pick up any of these devices. And don't forget our sponsor for the video, Narwhal with the T10 vacuum, which is pretty awesome, by the way. Check that out and pick it up yourself, because if you're like me, who is completely lazy, then you don't have to mop your floors anymore. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.